Hello, hello everybody. Today we're working on a heart-shaped stone with a seed of life pattern in the center and what looks like, I hope looks like to you, a doily hanging over the edges. That's what I wanted it to look like. Um, so this is a heart-shaped stone that I made with Rapid Set Cementol. If you want to know how I make my stones, I have a video linked down below, Making Art Stones with Rapid Set Cementol. You can take a look at that. I'm showing you the supplies that I've used. I'm also going to list these down in the comments below. So I have my paints, I have some tools, a compass is important, measuring tape, and some crystals. As for the compass, the cheaper plastic ones from the Dollar Tree or Walmart uh, will do, but you're much better off with a uh, regular compass like I have here. You'll have much more precision and you'll be happier in the long run. They're not expensive. I think they're like under $20. At this point, we're just trying to draw some guidelines so we can do our outer uh, black and white base coats. So I measured down from the center of the dip of the heart there, about one and five eighths inches. And the stone is about four inches wide. So I looked for um, the two inch mark in the middle. This is actually off a little bit and I'll explain that later when we're doing the actual design. So I set my compass for one and five eighths and I'm just going around the edges and it's coming up the, across the top of the part of the heart and then down the sides, and up over the bottom, and then back around again. After that, I set my compass to one inch. I wanted a two inch diameter, so it's a one inch radius on my compass. The black center here and the white ring around um, do not need to be like a metallic paint or a multi-surface paint because we'll be painting over them. So these are just regular flat acrylics. And then the, the very outside, I painted it with a metallic black only because I'm not going to be doing anything else to it and I wanted it to just be something that's going to stay and I'm not going to have to worry about. So that's up to you. So I'm looking at the white here and I'm measuring to see how, how good I did. <laughs> and um, I did pretty well there, pretty well there. And then up on this part here, you can see it's this is still a half of an inch, but this one here is a little bit off. And you can also actually see with your eye that it's a little off. So I'm just taking a little thin brush and coming out and just evening that up. So now I'm trying to find the actual center here. And I'm checking out the wide, the uh, width of the white circle around. And I'm measuring down about one and five eighths from the very top of that, um, the, of the heart. And you can see as I'm measuring from this, the, the, the dot out, I'm off. I'm a, I have an inch on three sides and an inch and, uh, an inch and an eighth on the other side. And that will throw me off. And I also didn't take into account the dip in the heart, which means I, <laughs> I could be off by another eighth of an inch. I don't know why I didn't realize it and just fix it at this point, but um, I didn't. And so I'll show you how I fixed it up when we get to that part. We're going to see that my uh, circle is actually more to the right and I just need to move it to the left. So I just move my compass point just a hair over and everything turns out just fine. So here we go. I put my compass point right in the center there and I, met, I still have it at uh, one inch because I want a two inch. A circle here and you can see how it's rubbing there and it's away on the left hand side so I know that I need to move the compass point to the left to correct it and now that I've moved my compass a little bit we can see that the measurements are actually we have a better uh, center point now I'm going to reset my compass for a half of an inch our seed of life is going to be two inches so if i have a half of an inch radius that's going to give me a center circle of one inch diameter now that's our first part of the seed of life we're going to be building all of our the rest of our seeds i don't know if you call them seeds or germs or what but whatever the circles around the extra uh the inside circle 
So in total, we need seven. The center one counts as one, and now we're gonna put six more. So I'm trying to find pretty much the center of the, of the heart and put my first circle up there. Now we're gonna be working off of that initial center uh, circle every time. And I drew my first one and I start the second one where those intersect. You can see right there, I'm doing, I'm gonna be drawing the third one now. And so it's intersecting the second stone and the center. I have a couple of spots that we wanna watch. One would be right there. And of course the center of the whole thing. We wanna watch those intersections and we want those to match up. We want, we want a perfect match. You can see here, I have a perfect match in a second, I'll show you. <laughs> I have a perfect match in the center. So another one, I'm crossing the center. I'm crossing over the intersection and back down again. And now this is my last one. And um, I lost my, my compass. <laughs> and um, they're all perfectly, perfectly matched. You can see where they all intersect perfectly. All right. Now this is the hardest part. I have a very thin brush and I have some folk art treasure gold in Mayan gold. The color is Mayan gold. And I'm outlining all of those circles. So I'm going to do all of the six outer circles. I'm going to do the one inner circle and I'm also gonna do the very outer circle. So they're going to be uneven. Um, if you have a really good steady hand, I'm jealous <laughs> because uh, th this takes me a long time to do. Now I want to caution you to not start your your circle at an intersection. You want to make sure that you're away from where the circles are crossing because uh, you'll have a nice big buildup of paint there. So you want to avoid that. So I'm starting over here and I'm coming through the center. That's going to have the most paint on it and I have my six flower petals in the middle and my six outer rings and now I am painting and covering my inner ring and now we're just going to encapsulate everything now don't worry about it being too perfect here I do want a space between the gold and the white uh, if you want to bring yes right up to the white go right ahead I'm filling in a little bit of the, bat, the black and cleaning up some space and um, off camera, I went ahead and I cleaned up the, the black and the gold and I straightened out all my lines and it was a long process, a very long process. So don't, um, don't get discouraged if you have to do it three or four times. I mean, I think I probably had to go back and forth five or six times. So over that white center ring there, that middle ring, I'm just putting some uh, pearl white. It's a metallic pearl white. And with once it's all dry, I go with my fingers and I just kind of try to smooth out any uh, bumpy paint lines that might, you know, still be there. It does flatten down a little bit. Now here in this whole center, this whole center section here with the uh, with the petals and I'm putting the blue dots in, this is all going away. So. I'm not keeping anything that I do in here. These blue dots are gonna go away. I'm gonna do some other uh, stuff inside those little petals. That's all gonna go away. So you don't even have to even bother with that. Now this pink, this is a fruit punch from Martha Stewart. <clears throat> uh, use whatever color you want. And this pot will be staying. So I'm gonna use a couple of different colors of pinks. And I have a, um, a dark berry, I have a magenta, and I'm also popping in a little bit of white. Don't try to put them all in at once. Put some dots in, let it dry, and every now and then just go back and pop a few more in. If you try to do it too quickly, your dots will run. You'd be amazed at how many you can actually get in there if you just take your time, okay? Now on the other three sections, I am doing some white swishes. And then I'm also doing the fruit punch, the same pink. A little bit thinner and I'm bringing those into the to the center I'm doing that all around on those three sections 
and then right down the center to bring it all together I'm putting one straight white swoosh. So now I decided to continue that same pattern to fill in the rest of it there. Um, I don't know why but this reminds me of a, a ginkgo leaf. <laughs> so I'm going with the pink and I'm putting those first two pinks in all the way around and then rather than put the white in next I'm also going to do the bottom pink so I'm leaving a space in the middle for the white. I just thought it would be easier to put the white in after not have to worry about squishing the pink in and it did work out quite well. Okay so now the rest of it is easy except for lunch. I told you that I made a bunch of changes. This was only one of the changes. I did something else after this and I'm not going to bore you with it but um, I ended up scraping off the blue, painting it over with the black. I cleaned everything up with my gold and then I just decided to do my petals, my flower petals, in gold. If you want to put yours in a color, that's that was one of my tries but <laughs> the colors that I had chosen just didn't do. Uh, didn't work for me. So we have our petals now. We have our seed of life is almost done. It's pretty much done. The rest of this is actually really really simple. With a medium sized tool and just a regular acrylic, uh, white acrylic paint because we're going to put pearl on it later. I'm uh, putting these dots all around the outer edge of the white. And now for the second row, it's just like the first row, except we're going in between the, row, the dots from the row above. And we're doing that all the way around. Now for the last uh, dot, row of uh, larger dots, I'm doing it in every other pattern. I'm starting at the top at the dip of the heart because um, I didn't bother to count again. And if I didn't have an even amount of uh, dots, it would have been very easy to just go ahead and hide that boo-boo there, especially because I'm using big dots. Okay, so now I have a little tool and I'm just putting a little dot at the very tip of that last row and just doing that all the way around. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd reach down, hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you'll be notified when I put a new video out. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love to read them and I love to answer them. Thank you. Now to finish off the rest of this daily, we're just going to add metallic pearl white all over all of these dots, our lace. But up on top, in the areas where we have uh, just black paint, um, we're going to fill that in with the with the hologram. Hologram goes on looking milky and kind of cloudy, and as it dries, it gets clearer and um, leaves a beautiful green gold finish. It's just it's just really really pretty. The video and the pictures that I have seriously do not do it justice. Now here I am I'm just I just felt like it needed a little bling along the edge there so I just put a little teeny tiny dot in between each one of those um, dots. Then I just filled in the black area around the seat of life with the hologram and popped a few little dots of uh, glitter, a hologram glitter, and with my little pink dots. And then finally, the little picos, I guess you would call them, at the end of the doily, I also added a little hologram to that. And finally, I'm going to add three of the same size crystals to the three matching areas. Um, that's going to be the medium size crystal. I'm going to put one on all three. And then on the dot sections I'm going to put three smaller ones. They're not tiny but they are smaller than, than this. And um, the one that the first one that I placed is a little off kilter and the glue it there's a little bit too much glue and I don't really like the way it looks. I'm going to come back and I will take that off and, and, and uh, 
clean it up and put a new stone there. So now I'm putting the smaller stones in. And by the way, I'm using Judy Kinn's Diamond Glaze. I will have all of my supplies, everything that I use down below in the comment section. So if you have uh, any questions about it, you can take a look there. Yeah, so I'm taking that off with a wet Q-tip. I'm just cleaning up that glue. I'm getting a fresh stone and some more glue and putting it right back. And at the very end, I'm going to put a large stone right smack in the middle. And that baby is done. Now, if you're wondering about sealing it, I don't think it has to be sealed if you're using like metallic paints or uh, multi-surface paints like I did. It doesn't, doesn't need to be sealed. Um, if you're using flat paints, you may want to put a, a spray seal around there, but if you do, do it before you put your crystals on, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Questions or comments are always welcomed, and until next time, thank you, and bye-bye.